Hey guys, so obviously I got a quite a few face masks and neck gaiters and stuff like that here on the table. This video has nothing to do with COVID or anything like that. In fact, more than half of this was bought before COVID was even a thing, like back in 2018, 2019, uh, stuff like that. Um, I have about a half of an acre, live on a golf course, and in the fall, my yard is the first yard on our street, and the leaves tend to fall down on the street uh, for the quarter mile beyond me, and they all blow my direction. So anyways, I tend to get more leaves than any of any other neighbors. And I push mow it with a 30 inch Toro. Well, every time that I'm mulching those leaves, you can just see like the cloud or the plume of leaf dust coming up. And almost every year in the fall, I get really sick with some type of respiratory stuff. So a few years ago, I started buying these various types of masks and, and try to wear them. And, and really the whole point of this video is to kind of tell you why I really dislike these ones from a very popular company and show you the ones that I actually really like and would highly, highly recommend instead. So let me just say like, I don't wear a mask until it gets to leaf cleaning time. The whole rest of the year, I just mow normal, but I'll start with these ones here. These ones are pretty thin, they're cheap. I don't know, I paid like maybe four or $5, somebody on Etsy or somewhere like that a couple years ago. I think I got like a six pack of them for like 30 bucks shipped or somewhere on there. They're only a single layer, like you can see basically right through them. Um, and therefore they do not block a whole lot of stuff out. I didn't realize how thin they were gonna be uh, when I got them. And so I really do not use these for mowing at all. Um, then I got this here probably two years ago. I, this was an Amazon purchase. And if I still have it in my account, I'll show when I purchased it. But this one here has like these carbon filtering filters on it. Um, and this is probably something that's good. Like if you're somewhere that like there's like the wildfires and you know, there's not good clean air, uh, it would filter everything coming in. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, like out push mowing, this thing I feel like I cannot breathe in it at all. It feels like there's no air coming through it for me at all. I, I'm sure if I were just standing and, or just even casually walking, this would be fine. But I used this like two or three times and then thought, no, nope, that thing sucks. It's, too, too bad for me. It did include extra uh, replacement filters and stuff too. And so like, uh, I keep stuff like this just in case there's like a shit hits the fan type scenario that I would need need something like that. And, but don't really use it. I bought the Under Armour one last year when they came out because they claim that they're like sports specific. You know, they're designed and engineered uh, for people who are playing sports and I did not care for it. And I think I paid like 40 or $50 for this single mask. Um, it was very big. It's just real thick material. Like to me, this, this is like material that it just, it's not breathable material. This feels like putting a thick blanket right up over top of your head and face and didn't like it. So that was a waste of 50 bucks or whatever I paid. I don't even remember. And then kind of getting to, to these here. So I'm sure like a lot of you, if you guys are even on Facebook anymore, you get on there and every day there's ads as you're trying to scroll through your feed. And it's typically stuff that you've either talked about and Facebook is listening to, you know, to your phone all the time or something that you might've looked up, um, you know, two days before now Facebook knows that you've looked something up and they're running these ads. So I kept getting these ads for these SA company face shields and it was always buy one, get four free. And um, I saw a bunch of YouTube reviews and, and so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, and, and they have like awesome, like really cool looking patterns, like these clown ones and guys smoking cigars and they got all kinds of stuff. So I decided after like seeing the ad for like six, seven, eight times, whatever, I'm gonna buy some of these Salt Armor ones, SA Company. 
And um, so right there's their little logo, SA company. So I get on their website to buy some. And kind of what they don't tell you is that, let, let's just say that they have 50 different face shields. Well, when you do this buy one, get four free, there's only about six or seven or something like that that's actually available for that deal. The other thing they don't tell you is that your first one that you're buying is 20 plus dollars. And I'll put a screenshot here of, of what it is. Um, and then the other four supposedly are free, but then they put tax or shipping or whatever else. So it, all in all, I think it came to close to $27. And it was the one, and then I got the four extra, so five of them for 27 some dollars, or close to it. So you figure it up, and it was like $5 and almost 40 cents per face mask, or net gator, however you wanna look at it. Um, I got them, and immediately, as soon as I open, this is the package that they come in. So this, this little package right here. And as soon as I opened the very first one, I'm like, these are junk absolute junk and you know i'd seen so many good things about them but i just kind of want to show you guys how you see how this is like rolled as soon as you pull it out and go to put it on this is what happens because what it is uh, imagine this being on a hundred foot sheet of fabric that looks just like this and basically as it goes down the line they just cut this off they cut this off they cut the next one they cut the next one they cut the next one and the ends aren't finished at all so they, they completely just roll up no matter what you're trying to do. Like this is one that's off of something, but you can see how these just roll up and it's aggravating as hell. You try to put that over your face and this thing just rolls down. Uh, there's supposed to be like 10 different ways you can wear them. Uh, realistically, there's about two or three maybe because half of them are not, not really applicable, but like one of them is like a wristband. Like you put it, it's just dumb, but I hate the the fabric is like junk fabric. Um, I don't know. I just, I do not like these at all. I, so I ended up getting two plain black ones. And then I, I actually cut one of them, tried to make it into something else. Um, and even on the cut, you can see where I've cut it. Even it rolls all up. Uh, is that the five? Yeah. So, so I got two of the, black star stripes i got one of the white there's a new one that i never even opened and then the one that i cut um so again those were close to 30 bucks for, for the five and i just don't like them at all now i'll say these are the ones that i wear all the time now i wear these to uh like football games when it gets cold i keep one in my jacket pocket all the time because like literally they can fold up to like the size of a small handkerchief I um, mean, they really go into like nothing. I'm not even sure the name of this company. I don't know if it's Go Tour or or what. Um, I had seen them on one guy's video, and he highly recommended them. Got on Amazon. They were like six dollars or so, six or seven dollars per individual neck gaiter. They have, I think, three or four different colors. They have this one that's kind of like a white camo. They have a gray camo, and then they had a blue, and I ended up buying three of them total. I bought, actually I bought a gray one, and I, and I only bought the one, and then I liked it so well that after I got it, I went back on and got two more of them. Um, but I wanna show you like the ends of these. You see all of the stitching that goes all the way across. You see how the ends are completely flat across the top. There's no rolling. The material is much, uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a polyester or a spandex or something like that, uh, but it feels so much nicer against your skin than whatever the SA company ones are. It's just, you can tell there's something different about it. And then on the inside, it's even different than what's on the outside and it's super soft and super smooth. Uh, these ones are just really, really nice. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, put one over top of that paper towel roll just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like on something. All right, so I'll show you here. 
this is the one in and, and as you can see there is absolutely like no like rolling or folding in or anything like that and i'm even going to show you the loose end down here so you can't say well this that stopped right there and that's why it's not doing it like even this in here they do it does not fold in like the the other the sa company which everybody brags about those and again i i don't remember exactly what i paid for these i think it was six dollars and something and if you got five of them it's basically the same damn price as the buy one get four free because they charge you so much more to start off and for all of the other stuff and just the overall quality of these is just far superior uh, these are really nice again they're not like covid protection type stuff it's nothing like that uh, but to keep your neck warm keep your face warm keep your head warm um, you know there are again there's probably three or four practical ways um, i like it just almost as a scarf when we're out at those cold football games uh, and then at the same time you can bring it up over your face and nose if you need to um, and then obviously when I'm mowing, that's the main purpose for me having them is, is during mowing season for the leaves. But um, just kind of wanted to put that out there. Like this is the company I would recommend going with. I have no affiliation with them. They don't know I'm doing this video. I bought every single thing that you've seen on the, on the video today. Um, but this company here, I, I personally would not buy them and, I know their ads come up on my Facebook all the freaking time. You can see that all those trees there, and then no other houses. I'm the first one here, and they just all kind of start accumulating. So when I'm mulching those leaves, it's usually a bunch. This is just from a few hours. Like I said, I just mowed yesterday, and by the time it's time to mow again, there'll be a bunch here. Here's some at the back, and again, just mowed yesterday, so you can see what I'm dealing with. And those uh, go to our masks definitely help filtering out some of this leaf dust as I'm mowing. And this here is after just another day or two, so you can see how thick this stuff gets after you know every three or four days. Basically, I gotta come out and mow, and when you're basically turning all this stuff up, uh, it creates so much dust. And I found that those GoTour masks really do seem to help filter out a lot of this stuff. So, all right, guys, that's kind of it for this video. Um, I appreciate if you watched it all the way to here, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.